your channel welcome to a new video as per the thumbnail you guys saw that we are on our way to we buy cars we will be uh, going to the Brocken Gate branch as the Western Cape has four branches I'm here with my brother Mr. D once again we're skating the plug light today a beautiful Sunday morning in Cape Town so yeah this is a new uh, video style this is a new uh, market that we're entering so if it's your first time on the channel make sure you guys are subscribed leave a like comment down below uh, during this video so we will be visiting we buy cars and uh, we will go check out cars available under 100k what type of cars they do have uh, the condition of the cars we're not here to judge uh, this is also not a sponsored video by we buy cars and actually this is a flashback uh, I'm sure my brother remember years ago we yeah. came uh, to buy my golf six year at we buy cars and uh, today yeah we're visiting the bronze uh, today once again to check out what they do have if you like this type of videos comment down below this we buy cars Brackham Gate branch is a one minute drive from my mom's house so uh, we might be doing more videos like this in the near future but it, it all depends on your guys comment down below what you guys think so yeah I'm quite excited um, I do think they open on a Sunday from 10 to 2 o'clock and uh, yeah I don't know what's the filming policies and stuff at Weibo because I, I just came here once and like I said it was a few years ago but uh, yeah let's check it out let's enjoy and uh, stay tuned for more let's go It's my town, like, you know I got it. Hey, when I'm round, they shh now. What's up now? Alright, so as we enter now, um, the security. The security said no filming, so I don't know what's the feel about around filming here. But I'm, I'm sure we'll find out. Like it's, like I said, it's the first time. And uh, yeah, I said we coming to check out the car. <laughs> so there's one parking bay or uh, a zone where you you park your car when you want to sell it and this man just avoided that <laughs> so, uh, uh. guys so like i said hopefully they won't have issues with us filming it's not a sponsored video but we're not here to judge or to to look at the bad or the downside of things we're just here to check out what they have for under 100k so yeah, let's see what's the feel about filming and let's go. No fake, no fake friends can't say the same about y'all. I'm minding my business and staying committed. I'm treating this shit like a job. I'm running the muck and I'm causing the clinic. I don't do this shit for applause. Yeah, you know I got it. I pull up, I come around, make my rounds. It's my town. You know I got it. Hey. When I'm around, they shh now. What's up now? This touchdown. Like, you know I got it. Alright guys, so I spoke to a sales uh, executive now and I asked him about the policies regarding filming and, and, and videos and photos. And he said, nah, it's cool. So yeah, we got the green light there. I found the first car under 100. Um, it is a 2006 Volkswagen City uh, Velocity, 1.4i, 270 some odd on the clock. The car goes for 52. 1900 it's a category b it's a decra green there's different decra um, categories i think it's a green gold platinum i'll explain to you guys later in the video what that means but uh, yeah all right guys so this is the velocity that we saw now under 100k um, i'm gonna start at the back as you guys can see the paint looks quite nice on spots um, we do have rust here as you guys can see obviously sadly this is cape town um overall the car isn't in a bad shape um interior quite nice looks clean it looks well take, uh, taken care of and just here in front also 
2006 it goes for 52,900 so yeah kilometers 274 guys I know so velocities go for a lot of money these days what's your take on this car and the price would you go for something like this let me know down in the comments down below and uh, let's see what we are what else we can find guys so we have another car under 100,000 Rand it is a 2007 CLS 500 and uh, Upon arriving, you wouldn't think this car is under 100k by the looks of it. It looks like a much more expensive car. This is a, a category B as well. And uh, it's a Tecra Green. So the Tecra Green means that this car won't be able to go through roadworthy as is. There might be some uh, technical or uh, external or internal errors or problems with the car. So you're going to have to fix a, a, a few things up before being able to take this car through the pits. So this is another car, CLS 500, under 100,000 Rand. Inside, quite nice, elegant, cream interior. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, overall it's quite busy now. Uh, it is about 11 o'clock in the morning getting busy it's getting busy and i have to admit there's a lot of buckies in this building four years ago there was mostly cars but now that whole area is uh, full of buckies so i think they're catering for the type of client at this branch but uh, yeah let's see what what else we can find so guys we have another car here this car is a teeny tiny little bit over hundred thousand this is hundred and one thousand nine hundred it's a 2009 audi a3 sportback so I know the thumbnail, cars under 100, but um, I mean 101, it's very close. So yeah, this is another car you will be able to find uh, at the Weber Cars. So the nice thing about this car, it's a Tecla Gold. It means that this car, as is, will be able to go through the pit without having to change or upgrade or fix anything. The car has about 175,000 kilometers on the clock overall i think the car is nice uh brand new tires in fact and uh let me just go through the back very nice car you'll be able to do a lot with this car 1.8 turbo so another car say about 100k at the weba cars brands so we found another car under 100k it's a 2010 hyundai i20 1.4 with a nice set of 15s the car goes for 87,900 with about 128 thousand kilometers on the clock uh, it's a decra green so this car might need a few things changed uh, to be able to go through the pits but yeah overall nice car straight i don't see any sign of uh, accidents on the car very nice very good uh, commuter around if you live in the city or fuel saver so yeah under 100k i think this should be a good buy F uh, fuel efficiency and also reliability i think these cars are, are quite nice guys like i said bucky galore buckies everywhere this whole two three four rows are filled with buckies all around have a look at this so i'm quite sure the the market for buckies at this branch are quite big um they do have a wide variety of buckies uh, nothing I can see under 10k but 100k <laughs> but yeah it's, it's quite amazing how many buckies it is okay guys so we made another find it's a 2008 Volkswagen Polo TDI the 1.9 it's a Highline uh, it's gonna need some paint correction but the car goes for 57,900 another car under 100k wrapped in a set of uh, 17 inch the tires look fairly new and uh, BBS wheels uh, overall, doesn't seem to be have any structural damage. This is a Decra green, so there might be some things that you're gonna have to fix before you take this car um, through the pits. But overall, not too bad for a 57 odd thousand car. At the back, I can see some um, some body damage, but uh, yeah, tow bar, nice set of PBS, 17 rims, like I said. So this is another car under 
100,000. Guys, talk about a deja vu moment. Another golf six for less than 100. Thousand rand 2011 golf 6 1.4 TSI for 92,900 rand and I don't think this is a bad car it's got some high mileage I think 222,000 on the clock but yeah like I mentioned I came to buy about three four years ago I came to buy my golf and whoa I had the exact same mark on my golf 6 I don't know if this is a mark uh, 16 but yeah overall nice it's a tech crack green I, I think mine was a, a green as well because of the bootlet but whoa I think it's a good find I think it's a very good find guys so I don't know how much this car went for but unfortunately this car has been reserved for the owner but I do think this is a nice a straight mark one nice set of wheels as well as far as the eye can see, rust free. So, for those interested, the sky is already reserved. It's a Decra green, so this uh, might be uh, one or two minor issues on the car, but overall, this car looks quite nice. All right, for VW fanboys, a VW Classic, the 1972 Beetle with about 85,000 kilometers on the clock. The car goes for 32,900. So once again, a VW legend. Not in the best conditions. It is a Decra green, meaning that there's still issues on the car. I don't know um, what is that issues, but overall, nice car. These cars go for a lot of money these days on the internet. But uh, yeah, you got to respect the legend. And he's standing next to one of the newcomers. <laughs> the 2013 beetle so yeah old school versus new school which one would you prefer the old school beetle or the new one let us know in the comments down below so guys now i do understand why these people need to move on segways or hoverboards this place is huge uh if you do like the video so far um give us a thumbs up comment down below we should make more of this content I'm just trying to find for you guys some more cars on the 100k Overall, a lot of buckies, like I said. Um, what do we have here? 49, 2001 Mercedes SRK. Look at the color, guys. Uh, shocking yellow, as we call it, canary gil, manier. Decra green, once again, the car go for 49,900. So for those with that budget, um, if you wanna stand out, coming or arriving at a, a event with a shocking yellow car this will be your pick if this is your budget 49,900 the car got 169,000 kilometers on the clock 2001 model so yeah I mean here's a car for everyone <laughs> and putting everyone's budget in this place so if you have a low budget you can find something here it won't be the best but uh, yeah, you can find something. Decra green once again. Some issues need to be sorted out, but overall, yeah. And we have found ourselves our first pickup or bucky. This is the 1994 Champ Bucky going for 46,900. And I have to be honest with you guys, these buckies go for crazy amounts of money on the market right now. So overall, this is a Decra green. This is the Champ, the legendary Champ Bucky. This comes with a canopy as well so yeah i'm surprised i i, I found this champion amongst all these big buckies but uh this is going for less than 100k less than 50k in fact so this is the champ i don't see any immediate structural or body damage on the car the bonnet uh, is not lining up properly i don't know whether it's not being closed properly but uh yeah 61,000 kilometers on the clock. I can't believe that. I really struggled it hard to find that this Bucky has 61,000 kilometers on the clock. Uh, gives me some kilos that's been turned back vibes, but I'm not here to judge. So that is the kilometers at the moment. Overall, nice, 1400 champ. What do you guys think of the champ? Uh, comment down below. And uh, like I said, the prices nowadays on the market for these cars are crazy. Guys, another pick up next to the Champ for less than 100,000. It's a 2003 Ford Bantam. This Bucky is powered by a 1.3 liter 
motor uh, once again going for under 100,000 59,900 for this bucky and uh, like I said the market is big now for buckies so these buckies they go for a lot of money on the market um, this bucky has a nice I don't know what you call it maybe you sh should comment down below what do you call this but it's got it's got this slide close or slide down mover here at the back i know the newer buckies comes out with this but it's perfect for for tools and stuff if you do use the bucket for work but yeah once again another one under 100 out guys so just some inside while i find myself maneuvering through the cars here we back cars got a reserve uh, policy where you can reserve a ride and uh, they will reserve that for 24 hours uh, i don't know what's the exact fee but you can reserve a car and uh just some more insight weber car has got about 15 buy and sell branches like these in the country western cape has got four and uh yeah weber cars sell about thirteen thousand cars every month and i don't know what is the accuracy of this number but they make about seven thousand rand profit on a car seven thousand rand uh, multiplied by 13,000 gives you 91 million rand a month. I don't know the accuracy of this amount, but this is a more or less average on what they make every month. So that is absolutely crazy. I don't think there's any company that can currently compete with this company. And it's, it found, it's been founded in 2001. The same time Capitec Bank has been founded. So these two giants making moves, they're making moves. But yeah, 91 million rand profit a month on an average of 7,000 rand profit on a car and 13,000 cars a month. It's a big number. It's a very big number. Guys, interesting. I never knew they had a tire mart inside where by cars. Have a look at this. <laughs> this is actually quite crazy or smart. They brought other companies to the Weber car branches and this is smart they can do alignment they can do tires they can do balancing they can do a lot of stuff here I mean if this is one of the reasons most of this cars got brand new tires on good move by tire mart good move by Weber cars actually great so yeah as you can see there's no one here now it's on a Sunday but I can just imagine how it, how it looks You're selling buying changing tires quite nice and there's a Capitec brands inside as well with a cafe as you guys can see there at the background so yeah very very smart as well wrapping the market here very good i'm impressed there's still upstairs uh, maybe i should just take a peek there but i'm running out of time if you guys want me to make more videos of this in other price categories or looking for other cars comment down below um, this we buy car brands is just literally one minute drive from where my parents stay but if you want me to make more content like this, comment down below, share this video with friends and family, and let's check it out. The ex Springbok John de Villiers up here, <laughs> they're busy watching the game as far as I can see. So they probably shooting content, he's watching the Springboks and the uh, All Black game. <laughs> But uh, as you guys know, Weber Cars do sponsor our sports, Sevens team and uh, all of that. So yeah, quite crazy. Good seeing the man here and making content. But have a look at this. Another car for less than 100,000. It is a 62,000 Rand 2004 Toyota Taz. It's a 1300. Quite nice actually. Um, these cars also go for a lot of money nowadays. It is a Toyota. Toyota do keep their value quite good. 185 on the clock at the moment. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. But I didn't even see their Skog Burger as well. Hmm. Ex Springbok uh, Legends. Another find under 100k. This is a 2007 Volkswagen. And this is a 1.4 going for about 72,000 Rand. The car is behind the strap, so we won't be able to access the car, but quite good, nice condition. Uh, the roof is, however, faded as you guys can see. But yeah, another find. This is the most expensive VW I've seen here today. 
is it really worth the money comment down below i can't give you too much information on this car at this moment but it's got 34,500 34, kilometers on there so yeah what's your feel on this car <laughs> it's the 1400 fuel injection motor but i don't know whether this car is worth the price i'm not here to judge you guys can let me know in the comments down below guys i think that's a, a wrap for today's video i think that is it for now i think we could come back if you guys like the videos make sure you guys comment down below but yeah this is a very big place seeing something interesting there we might come back for that next time but yeah you guys can tell me in the comments down below do you want some more and what you would uh, you want me to look out for so thank you so much for watching the video i really appreciate it I really appreciate it and uh thank you for all the love and support this is a new market if it's your first time here hit that subscribe button like the video comment down below i'm on my way out i'm gonna enjoy my last uh few hours here at my mom's house before i leave back home so uh yeah thank you for the love and support make sure you guys follow us on instagram tiktok facebook we do have uh a few videos on there as well so let's go is it really enough giving my heart and my soul but still don't feel like enough feeling inadequate still getting accurate